Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, we'll be going over on how to start mining Versus Coin on Nice Hash. So I believe this is the first CPU mineable coin that you can go ahead and mine uh, on Nice Hash. I know there's ways you can like mine through certain pools and stuff and redirect it through Nice Hash or something of the sort, but this is the first actual CPU algorithm that they have listed on the Stratum generator even. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And right now it is not supported through the nice hash miner so we'll have to use a third party miner that is supported with nice hash but i'll be going over all that information in today's video but this is just a big step i feel for nice hash because they should start accepting cpu mining as a viable option as many people still do it and just not gpu mining cpu mining should be opened up on here with a lot more different algorithms for cpu I know a lot of the time there isn't a lot like as many algorithms for CPU as GPU but the ones that are out there are kind of reliable and a lot of people do use them and that they're very known and well like done so I feel like NiceHash should start adding them ones like eScript um, there's also I believe um, Minotorx or something like that so there's a few of them that they could go ahead and actually mine that have been around for some time I know the coins on them aren't as like profitable in a sense or aren't as high priced or things like that but i still feel like it'll be a big step and open up the window for nice hash it'll just widen like their ability with miners and things like that and i feel like a lot of cpu miners would like to use nice hash but just starting i think it was about last week nice hash has allowed for versus hash or versus coin whatever you want to do versus hash is the algorithm i believe behind versus coin so we're going to go through on how to set that up and we'll get started right now and I'll be showing you with the miner and everything because I set it up myself on my server to try it out just to make sure that it is viable option that is working and things like that. But we'll be going over all that right now. So with this article they released on their blog, they also have another one from last week saying that they started accepting versus coin or versus hash. But versus coin versus hash algorithm is currently not supported in nice hash miner, but you can still mine it at nice hash. So it'd be nice if they brought it to the actual miner itself. And make it a lot easier for some people that aren't as tech savvy or just focus on using like the nice hash miner itself but for this guide you do not so i repeat you do not need to create a separate versus coin wallet but you can use the existing nice hash mining account so you can use your current nice hash address for like bitcoin or use your current account however you want to set it up but you do not need to create a separate versus coin wallet so that's the nice part about it it is all ran through nice hash directly so as it says, step one here is install NanoMiner. You can easily install NanoMiner via the NiceHash Miner plugins tab. NiceHash verifies the miner's files so you can avoid downloading malware from unofficial web pages. But most of the time I just use the GitHub's, the official GitHub's of said miner. But if you are using NiceHash Miner, you do have it open in the top right hand corner. There should be like a little settings option or a little three dots. And you can click that and there's a little plugins tab or something of the sort i believe it's on like the setting gear or something like that i couldn't get it the nice hash miner actually working properly on my server so i just had to go ahead and use the third party software of nano miner but if you do have it you just use the plugins tab and then you can open up the directory so you open the nano miner root directory if you are helping yourself with nice hash miner simply click on the three dots next to the plugin name in the plugins tab and click show internals so once you are on your plugins and it shows all the different miners on the nice hash miner, you just click show internals and it'll navigate you to, as it says right here, the bins directory, which has like the nano miner. So you can go ahead and edit the configure file. But if you do not have this way, if you just want to use a third party software, you can just go over to the GitHub here, as I'm going to link it down in the description. And you're just going to go to the right hand side where it has releases. You just click on releases. And all you're going to do is click download uh, whichever one that's corresponding with your operating system. So Linux or Windows. I already have the Windows one downloaded on my server here. I'll just pull that up. As you see, nanominer-windows-3.72. Then once you do have it downloaded, you just right click and go 7-zip or WinRAR, whichever one you have. And extract to and then set folder name. So if you are able to use like the nice hash miner, I forgot to mention. So if you are able to, they allow just verified miners only. So it shouldn't give you any trouble with the firewall or anything like that because you've already allowed nice hash miner through. But if you're download it like myself, you may have to add it as an exclusion to your settings here. So all you would do for that case is go to your settings here, let that load up, 
and then you go to update and security and then once you're there you go to windows security and then let that you go virus and threat protection and all you would do is scroll down till you i believe yeah under manage settings here on virus and threat protection settings you scroll down add or remove exclusion you add an exclusion add folder and then all you would do is go to your downloads or wherever you have it saved you double click on nano miner and then you click select folder and that will add it as an exclusion so it can bypass the security and all that so it doesn't get picked up as a virus but i believe nano miner is a verified one already so it shouldn't have any issues with a uh, virus or anything of this sort or windows defender it's extracted to the folder itself you're going to see all these different configuration files and what the one you want to focus on is the config which is just a straight configuration which is the main one it does read from so it's easier just to go through this and copy the settings into this file so all you do is right click and click edit and you're going to have a bunch of different things there just delete all the prior information that's there and what you want to do is come over to this article here as it says edit the config.ini file so what you want to do is highlight all of this from top down all the way from the address or the first colon all the way down to true and this is going to be your config file information so it's going to allow you to mine it directly to nice hash just fill in the corresponding information so as you see uh, for a wallet your nice hash mining address so if you go on nice hash mine or log into your nice hash account you'll have your bitcoin address or your nice hash mining address whichever you want to call it you just copy that over and paste it into the section there and then you want to keep this as brsc which is versus coin and then this is going to be your worker name so right down here what has like speed underscore test you could change that to whatever rig name you want the password you want to keep as x because that's the default password that is is used for this uh, stratum and this url and then the pool address is versus hash dot auto dot nice hash dot com colon 9200 but that's also gonna you can just copy and paste that if you want or you can come over to the stratum generator and on the drop down here it's going to be at the very bottom versus hash and you click generate address and then you can copy whichever one you are using so if you're using ssl you can go ahead and copy that one right there or you can just use the standard stratum plus tcp which is what most people are going to use and as it says the password is x you can ignore the username part but just remember that password is x and that's just like it says in the folder here and then what you want to have here is select nearest pool server by ping and set that as true because it's going to ping each pool location and whichever one is closest to you and whichever one you get the strongest ping from that's the one it's actually going to uh, use for this mining so what you want to do is copy all that and then you're going to paste that all into here so all into the config.ini file the one that we clicked right click and open on so this one here at the top right click edit and then you're going to paste all that from what you copied here so you copy all that and then you're going to paste it into the config file here and then as you see mine here i have mine set with the nice hash wallet so that's my nice hash wallet address and i have mine set up as xmr because that's why i was just doing a few different tests so if i was using versus coin i would just go like this open this back up i would paste this right here and then i would change the pool as well so i just highlight this right here and then we could just paste that right down below here just like so and just make sure there's the space in between and then you click file and save and that's going to save your config uh, file for nano miner and all you do is simply double click on nano miner right here the application and that should open up and you should start mining right to nice hash we'll just do it quickly here so as you see it's running it has all my threads it has shares accepted shares found so that's the main thing you want to have is make sure that you have it set up in the config don't worry about using like config underscore versus or any of these just focus on using this config and then if you want to change it up and use any other type of config you can go ahead and do that because the only other cpu algorithm i believe is random x or whatever you want to call it so it's nothing like uh too crazy they don't have too many options when it comes to cpu but it's good to see that they're actually coming out with this and they're allowing it to be mineable on a uh, nice hash because like i said it's opening it up to cpu miners but that's all the steps and as you see you're getting accepted shares you're finding shares and you're rocking and rolling pretty well so that's all the steps you have to do if you want to go ahead and get mining on uh nice hash with versus coin and this converts to bitcoin of course 
so you're all set. You don't have to do too much. And then once you are uh, mining and you have enough Bitcoin, you can go ahead and convert it over to whichever coin on nice hash that you want to. So this is just, like I said, a way for CPU miners just to actually use their CPUs on nice hash. It's nice to see they're starting to open the window a little more by accepting different CPU algorithms. Now I have this connection was closed and connecting to pools issue. It sometimes has a little bit of trouble. I don't know if that's just like an ongoing issue or if it's something just with my server. But if you uh, get that error, it does reconnect and you still go ahead and just accept shares and you do go ahead and you can open up your nice hash dashboard and you'll see the workers there and Bitcoin does get deposited into your wallet address. You obviously have a better speed than what I am because I'm using a virtual server. This one's not as good for mining right now, but I'm going to be soon enough. I will be having my whole rig set back up and stuff. I'll be moving near the end of this year. So that's a plus sign. I'll have a lot of my old style videos back where I'm keeping guys up to date with my rigs, show you in person what I'm running, things like that, like I used to do. It's just I had to move for a while, so that was just to do with personal things. I don't want to ramble too much with that. But yeah, I have the connection with closed issue once in a while, but I feel like that's just with my server here. But yeah, it's simple as that. All you do is, like I said, run the nanominer.exe, and you start mining versus hash, and it's simple as that. And then you can also, if you scroll down here, they have how to do it with uh, Hive OS. So if you are using Hive OS, you can go ahead and follow these steps and it's going to show you how to go ahead and mine that in Hive OS. I personally don't use Hive OS anymore. I haven't for a long while, but if you guys want, I can go ahead and make a video on the uh, Hive OS part of it. But a lot of people can just go ahead and read this article for themselves. It's pretty straightforward. They show you all the steps just to get started and that way you can mine versus hash on nice hash if you want if you are a cpu miner but yeah that's pretty well all i got for you guys today i hope this brought some insight for you guys if you are a cpu miner hopefully this is a viable option for you it may be different profitability because it's it's its own algorithm being versus hash compared to some other cpus most of the time cpu mining all has their own algorithms but just depends on what coins are what this is specifically made for vo versus coin so that way everyone it's it's something to do with so that way it can balance gpu cpu and fpgas or whatever it is so all different types of miners it wants to have a 50 50 50 split or whatever it wants to make it a balanced network in other words so it's good to see nice hash adding this hopefully this tutorial helped you guys if it did make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you guys are enjoying this tutorial and it is helping you out in a way but that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.